really one of the big reasons we're here today is to recognize a um, very important person, kind of like the founder of why we are even here today for the residential fire and, uh, sprinklers. So I'd like to have Dave Grubb come up here, please, from Long Grove. Association, Illinois Fire Sprinklers Association, Illinois Fire Services Association, and the Illinois Fire Sprinkler Coalition. In recognition of your dedication to the fire safety of the residents and firefighters of Long Grove, and for your foresight and vision of providing built-in fire protection and residential occup occupancies, leading the way in 1988 to date over 100 Illinois communities and fire protection districts have followed your groundbreaking lead with similar ordinances resulting in over 18,000 homes being protected. We commend you for your vision and dedication to fire safety by being the man who started it all in Illinois. Presented on this 19th day of May 2018, thank you very much and congratulations. short on words, but uh, I greatly appreciate this recognition award. It, it, it was unexpected. Uh, the organizations have honored me in the past, and uh, I appreciate that very much. But I'll, I'll tell you that at the time at the time we did this in Long Grove, I didn't know that we were going to be the first one. And so yeah, I'm happy to say that, okay, we started something and to grow to 104 communities in Illinois. That's fantastic, and it goes to the work that, that's done here by the associations that are involved in it. But there's, there's difficulties ahead. 95% of us here are from communities or working communities that have a residential NFPA 13D sprinkler ordinance. But there is still strong opposition out there. And let me illustrate one of these things that really irritates me all the time. Tom Miller's story, and I've told it to the Northern Illinois Alliance of Group in their meetings, but Tom Miller is a fire protection engineer like me, and he graduated from the same university. In 2005, Tom and his brother, who's an emergency room doc, uh, decided they wanted to buy, each wanted to buy a house, their own, and so they found a bunch of really good floor plans in a development in Elgin, Elgin Illinois, 2005. Okay, uh, and I'll tell you that the, the developer was the William Ryan Builders, and Tom and his brother were sitting down with the marketing people just ready to sign the purchase of two different floor plans, two different houses within that one subdivision. And Tom says to the uh, gentleman that's uh, about to sign on the dotted line with him, uh, I'm a fire protection engineer, and I believe in residential sprinklers, and we are going to install residential sprinklers in both of these houses. Who do you, as the developer and as the uh, builder, uh, suggest or recommend that you could work with us and you as the builder as we install residential sprinklers in these two new homes. And the person that crossed the desk from Tom and said, we can't do that. We don't do that. Our firm does not permit someone to install residential sprinklers in a, a new building as we build them. All right, 2005, we developed the standard in 19... 1995, no, 1975, 1975 we built the standard, and Long Grove wound up with having an ordinance in 
1988. And here's a developer saying, we ain't going to let you put fire sprinklers in this brand new house. And so Tom Miller and his brother walked away, walked away from this house and this developer. They went across uh, the street to another development by Ryman Homes. Now, in Elgin at the time, they weren't required to put sprinklers, but the Ryman people, Explain to them uh, what, what they were interested in, and Ryland people said, "Certainly, you buy a home here, and we will allow you to put residential sprinklers in." And here's a list of the contractors that you can use that we are used to working with because we do this in other communities. Okay, so this is the kind of opposition that is still out there, particularly by the Home Builders Association, and you that have the the. Uh, requirement for sprinklers now have to work extra strong to help the communities that don't have the ordinance to overcome this particular opposition. It will get, get stronger and stronger, but as we grow beyond the 104 towns that have it now, we'll be able to meet that. We'll be able to meet that head on. And that, that, that's the takeaway there. That help, help your other communities that don't have it now overcome the opposition that's there. Now, Tom Leah's group, there's there's two visuals in particular that I urge you to share with your fellow uh, fire marshals and your fellow fire chiefs on that. And one of the visuals is the red color uh, image that shows all 104 communities in Illinois that have adopted the ordinance. That's an awesome display. While most of it is upstate, there are a few downstate. But it's an awesome image that you should pull off his website and have within your library of visuals to share with other, other communities, other fellow fire chiefs. The other visual that I'd like you to pull off of Tom's uh, website is what I call the time fire growth curve. The fire protection engineer, and he calls it the flashover curve, but it's a two-dimensional uh, chart that shows out here the fire starts and there's no problem and as time goes on, goes on, two minutes, three minutes, not a serious problem, about four minutes, the fire gets larger. We'll see that here this morning and that the residential sprinklers will, will catch that fire in the first two or three minutes, maybe less, but if we don't get to it right away, it just goes clear on up to condition that nobody can survive. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, one more point, I'll put this down, and that's the part that so many of us are from the fire service here, is that residential fire sprinklers also mean vastly increased safety for the firefighters. If we save the people in the building, we are also making a safer environment for the firefighters to do it, and, and that's one of the important parts, too. With that, thank you so much for the recognition again. Uh, help your neighbors. They will